What is going on guys? Craig1287 here I'm bringing you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay, not Battlefield 4. Uh, while over the uh, Christmas break, holiday break, and New Year's break, and all those breaks that we were having, uh, I ended up joining up with some of the TG guys and even some non-TG guys uh, uh, for a few rounds, uh, rocking out some Battlefield Bad Company 2. Uh, a few of the guys had this uh, still installed on their drives uh, because the Lizard Squad dudes have been DDoSing and slowing down. Or it, it might not actually be Lizard Squad. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that uh, Battlefield, a bunch of the servers were being laggy. Battle Log in general uh, was being a little laggy. And like I said, since some of them already had it installed on their drives, and I've got really, really fast internet, and I can, you know, download and install the game uh, in a matter of just a few minutes. Um, yeah, I ended up putting it on there and rocking out with them in some bad company. And this is this has been a, a good bit of time since I have played bad company. This is not actually the first round what you're seeing. Uh, the very first round was a very brief round, not much happened. I uh, couldn't really even find many enemies and whatnot. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this was pretty much my first legit round since being back. And uh, I ended up doing a lot better than I assumed I would do, uh, given how long it's been. Uh, I know a lot of people, when these games have come out with new versions and and even even a newer one, because you got Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, that typically the people that stick around are the ones that are really really good. You know, they're they found their niche with whether with whatever that game is. They've you know, they've perfected all the aspects of it. And they're really, really good. And that's, for the most part, the case. There's a lot of level 50 guys. Um, and we did some rush, and the people still use those cheesy tactics of just using tanks as artillery, shooting via the uh, shooting out of the walls to get buildings to collapse, or just straight up shooting and hammering the MCOM to destroy it, which is such a shame, because the maps are really, really, really well designed for rush, since that's pretty much what they were designed for, even though I still prefer uh, Conquest as my main uh, mode that I prefer. But, um... Yeah, the, uh, I mean, the game's still pretty darn fun. It's got some bugs and glitches still. Uh, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, they romanticize the, uh, the game. Everybody always talks, oh man, I hate Battlefield 4. It's so bad. And I remember the glory days of Battlefield 3, or I remember the glory days of Bad Company. A lot of people came in with Bad Company. I, I know I'm, I'm, becoming rarer and rarer these days to find someone that's been around since heck I actually participated in the beta uh, for 1942 which there was not that many people uh, that were that were in that but um, yeah, I played that Vietnam uh, Battlefield 2 2142 um, pretty much every single Battlefield game I've played I, I own all of them except for 1943 which was a digital only one on the consoles I did play it but I never owned it um, but yeah um, and it's it's it, it, I mean it, it's still a good game uh, it's still a solid shooter in its own right um, but it's definitely still has a lot of bugs and glitches and design flaws that never just got fixed or anything of that sort but uh, the game itself is still a blast um, it, while the gameplay that you're going to be, that I'll eventually cut over to the audio of, um, it is not War Tapes mode, but with my new Sennheiser, uh, headphones, with, uh, their crazy good, um, audio and their intense amount of bass, holy crap do those things have a lot of bass, uh, full review will be out at some point, a few weeks down the line once I put it through enough, uh, stress testing and, and all that. But, um, yeah, that, just going through the campaign of Bad Company with the sound, you know, cranked up and not lowered so that I can hear people on TeamSpeak, but also with war tapes on, it is just a feast, uh, for the ears, and, um, definitely something that, uh, is just awesome revisiting, not only for the, with the, with the new audio, but, you know, getting to play on my, uh, uh, my, uh, monitor in 1440, uh, up to 144 hertz, uh, it's just, it, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, hope you guys do enjoy the, uh, the gameplay there. Not sure if I'll have any more, uh, videos up for Bad Company 2. Um, 
I mean, Battlefield Four has been out for for over a year now, so you know it's it's difficult to to come out with uh, original content. Most people, I guess, just resort to comedic things and trolling videos these days. It's hard to you know release stuff talking about tactics and strategies and weapon reviews and 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 things of that sort because everybody's gotten so used to it uh I, that's still my my bread and butter that's still the things that i mostly prefer to watch um when it comes to any shooter really um no matter how long it's been out i just you know i like to always improve myself and become a better player so uh I'll try to get stuff out there like that, maybe here one, well, you know, once in a while. But for the most part, you know, you guys will probably just be seeing some, uh, um, some footage of uh, practices that we do within uh, TG and things of that sort. So um, let me know what you guys do want to see for the new year for 2015 until uh, Hardline comes out and Battlefront, which is way towards the end of the year, though. Uh, but let me know what you guys want to see that can uh, hold you guys over until. Well, until Battlefield Hardline comes out, and you know, I'll be getting Evolve gameplay, GTA maybe, uh, some for some multiplayer stuff, maybe some mods if some good things come out pretty quickly, relatively soon when uh, you know at the release of GTA 5. So let me know what you guys do want to see. If you want to see some more Bad Company 2, if you want to see some Battlefield 3, um, or if you just want to see the usual, just uh, Ponin doing all sorts of different strategies and using different weapons and kits and whatnot in Battlefield 4, which I still thoroughly very much enjoy. Don't think or you know take the wrong way that, I, that I'm not enjoying Battlefield 4 these days for, for this year because I still love Mason Battlefield 4. So let me, know you guys, what, what, let me know what you guys would like to see more of uh, for, for this year. And my goodness, my New Year's result. Man, I can't speak. And you know why? Because my New Year's resolution should have been that I make these videos earlier in the night, not at 1.47 a.m. This is actually one of the earliest videos that I've made. Uh, typically, these are made at like near 3 a.m. almost, so I keep making these when I'm really, really sleepy at night, but whatever. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Pretty much, like always, ended up talking for a majority of it, much more so than I expected, so hope you guys enjoy the brief little aspects left of this uh, round of Bad Company 2. Hope you have a good one. Ta-ta. Or are you just using now it for sake? two guns unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, you have a new account! That's right, sorry, my bad. What about I forgot how to unlock the 1911. Is it not a, uh, veteran unlock? I thought that one grand was like a Vietnam thing. Yeah, both yeah. the... The Thompson... They're veteran Thompson. they gave me this one. Yeah, the Thompson and the Garand are veteran unlocks. I think that 1911 is part of Yeah's gun for Could be it. But I think they did away with that. We got people on Alpha right now. Now there's gonna be people like right in front of us on Alpha. I got a visual hostile infantry. I got These grenades look so big, it's like throwing a freaking pineapple across the map. Thank you for that, Craig. Uh huh. Gotta get that flank off. We oh, shoot getting shot from the behind. Got one of them on army. Yeah, arming as well in case you die. Oh, it's armed. You stay there. I'm gonna sit further back. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep fragging the other side. Maybe we should have gone for Bravo at first. It's a lot easier to cap. Or harder to cap, I mean. For chance. Is this a tank behind us? Shoot, it is. Yep. Down. Oh. Yeah, I got eyes on enemy. We got a We destroyed it, though. Yeah, is this tank still up behind yeah, the us? tank is still there. Holy crap. Spawn behind him. I'm just gonna hit him with some, uh, closer up to you. I think I got a guy on that turret. Oh, 
this box. Ah. I got too many people on me. I got a tank and everybody everywhere. We get it? Nice. Oh, uh, I just want to run to the left slightly. The tank got me again. Yeah, we got that charge on. Wow, we are training these guys. We got. Uh, thanks, Tom. Let's not be able to sprint side by side. I know, right? The small quality of the area. For how poorly we defended, we rolled over the pretty easy to warn. G friggin' G. This definitely isn't a bad looking game, even now. That's no, held definitely up. Definitely not. I mean, the textures are obviously a little low res, but the aesthetics and whatnot, the designs still look yeah, pretty good. Like, I upscaled. I mean, the I textures. Like the textures. The textures are lower res than current Battlefield, but they're still higher resolution than a lot of current games that come out. 